Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new in today's video i'm going to be talking about the new bloxburg update and a lot of the community is very very upset about this update so i'm going to get into it and explain what happened in this update and explain why the community is upset and make sure to subscribe for more Blockster content because I am on the road to 5,000 subscribers. First things first, here is the update log. Now, I have not seen the update myself yet. Um, I've just seen a lot of clips and people talking about it on Twitter. So I'm going to read out the update log for you guys. So it said, added new build mode items, added eight new materials, added pre-built house catalog, added equal pay across all jobs, which I'm going to get into that because it might not be what you think when they say equal pay for all jobs, adding a towing fee park in the correct spot or your car will be towed added a hospital fee keep your moods up or you'll faint added backpack purchases you no longer need to interact with an object to unlock it all right so i'm just gonna go down the list and show you guys everything one by one Okay, so they added eight new materials so let's go take a look for them so here they all are keep in mind all of these would go on the floor as well so here are all of the new materials which are honestly really really cute okay so like i said before they added a pre-built house catalog so this pretty much means that a bunch of content creators built houses and now you can go and buy them and they also changed the way that like switching your plots look so now you don't have to go all the way back into like the main menu you just click on it and you can change plots pretty much and here is all of the pre-built houses for the catalog and here they all are these are all made from content creators a lot of them you probably will notice their name and stuff like that but here are all of the pre-built houses okay so the biggest part of this update which left half of the community wanting to quit or boycott 
Bloxburg, which in other words means they're quitting until things change, and have also <laughs> signed petitions for this to change is equal pay across all jobs. So as soon as you hear this, you'd assume, oh, they are making Pizza Planet and all the other jobs pay the same exact amount as Pizza Planet because Pizza Planet gives you the most amount of money. Well, it's the complete opposite. And now Pizza Planet gives you like absolutely nothing, even if you have maxed out level and the game pass. Okay, so I put my mood all the way up and when my moods were all up, I would make about $2,000 per pizza I would deliver. So they completely changed the way that delivery works and now it goes off of your efficiency. And as you can tell here, this is the max you can make per minute. I would make this amount per delivery. So it doesn't even matter like if I made that delivery. I only made $28 from that delivery and I used to make 2000 for a delivery and my moods are completely up. Now, keep in mind your total end check is a lot more. However, it's still a lot less than what I used to make. Um, the fact that the max per minute is literally the amount I used to make per delivery is very insane to me. Now, keep in mind if you do have the game pass for working, you do get a boost of money but as you can tell it's still not a lot compared to the amount that i used to get before i used to get like 2000 the max that you can get per minute i used to get that per delivery so the fact that it's still very very low even with the game passes and even maxing out your level completely it's just not worth it <laughs> Okay, so not only did they lower the amount of money you can get, they added fees. So now you have a towing and hospital fee. So I'm going to explain both of them separately. So for the towing fee, you basically would get your vehicle towed if it's not in a parking spot. And I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. However, keep in mind, if you have a premium game pass, the fees for both of them are reduced to half so it's not as bad if you have premium for the fees however you're still gonna get a fee <laughs> even with premium but it's just reduced in half okay so i'm gonna leave my car parked in the middle of the road and as you can tell there is now a timer for when you get towed and as you can tell on the top you get a little warning so i'm just gonna sit here for the full five minutes and show you guys how much i get keep in mind this is with the fact that i have premium so it does reduce the amount that i would get if i didn't have premium i hope that made sense Okay, so even with premium, I got fee $875, even with premium. And mind you, I just delivered one pizza and only got $60, but my total amount was like 500 something. So even if I work one shift at pizza delivery, I would only get 500 and the fees are almost doubled that. That is actually insane. So since the fees are reduced in half for premium, the total amount you would get if you did not have premium is about $1,750 just for a towing fee. They do give like multiple warnings for the towing fee and stuff like that, like you're about to get towed. However, it is a little bit insane the fact that they added fees and then also reduced the amount we get paid like by a lot 
<laughs> okay, so they added a, another fee in the game, and it is the hospital fee. So how this one works is when your moods are very low, you will faint, and then you will get a hospital fee. So how this works with the Marvelous Moods game pass is that your moods will just decline very, very slowly. And you will get 10 minutes to replenish your moods before you faint. And even if you don't have the Marvelous Moods Game Pass, you will not be affected if you're in build mode. So it will not affect you at all. However, I am going to wait for my moods to get really low and then I'll show you guys what the fee looks like. Keep in mind, I do have premium okay so i'm gonna add this into the video really quickly because they did say that they changed how the backpack works however this also goes with the moods because you can use some of the stuff in your backpack to help get your moods up and keep them up so you don't have to pay for any hospital fees so basically now you have to pay to unlock some of the stuff so it's no longer where you have to pick up or interact with these items you just have to pay for them now so that's how that works works now. Okay, so for the fainting, as you can tell, it's a whole animation and you get removed the same amount of money. So the fees are exactly the same, $875 and $1,750. So now I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the new update. As someone who's been playing Bloxburg for a very long time, I haven't been playing recently, but this is definitely not where the game should go in my opinion i'm all for making the game more realistic with fees and stuff like that but i feel like if they were going to add the fees they should have made the money more <laughs> instead of making it a lot less i feel like adding fees is really wrong when you are taking away a lot of the money in blocksburg honestly and i feel like the whole fainting thing really should not happen with marvelous moods i mean we bought that game pass so then we have we don't have to worry about our moods at all so i feel like the fact that you can still faint with the marvelous moods game pass like i feel like you should be able to either turn it off or turn it on if you would like to get that experience because it does give more of like a realistic role play experience i guess but if you have the game pass i feel like it is very very wrong to make it where you still faint because personally the reason why i bought the game pass was so i didn't have to even look at my moods ever again but now you kind of have to and i feel like that's a really inconvenient thing and the whole working thing is also very disappointing to see as well. I really do love the new Bloxburg developers. They have added so much to the game that I think has made the game improve. However, I do think with this new update, they weren't really looking at the player's, like, benefit, I guess. Like, I don't think that many people are really happy with this update. I really hope that they <laughs> do something about it because it is very disappointing to see them do this. I personally think the towing fee is honestly not that big of a deal because I guess it makes it more realistic so you actually have to park and stuff like that. That one I really don't have a problem with. And the fainting one I really don't have an issue with either. It's just the fact that you still get it even with a game pass that you bot is kind of crazy and even if you're maxed out level and you have the game pass you really don't even make any money so it feels like all of my hard work went down the drain for delivery person and my robux went down the drain as well um i definitely wouldn't have put this much effort into 
maxing out my level and buying the game pass if I knew that they were just gonna completely make it so much less like how come i can only make 2000 per minute that is actually insane and i do have a lot of blocks for cash so this update really doesn't affect me too much and i don't play too much but as someone who did used to play a lot this update is honestly disappointing i do like the new house feature where you get to like buy houses and stuff like that i do think that's really cool and i like that it's from content creators i really do like that and i also like all of the new items that they added in the update i am just really disappointed with the new working feature and with the these, honestly, I feel like it makes it really unfair for beginners to play the game because now they're going to make even less money. Like, if I made $60, I think it was, or something like that for one... Actually, it was like 20 something dollars for one pizza. I cannot imagine how much people are making if they don't even have a high level or without the game pass. <laughs> Thank you.